know what are you doing here? Mr. Henry. My name is Inspector Joshua from the state CID. You're under arrest for rape and assault on Miss Angelica. Angel, is this some kind of sick joke or what? It is not some kind of sick joke, Albert. Henry raped me. The day I fell and hit my head and fainted, he raped me and that was the source of the pregnancy. Or are you trying to deny that? Well, what was the meaning of this? Can you prove this? If I can prove this, yes, I can prove this. Gina! Gina! Come. Hold your breath. In case you're trying to intimidate her, she recorded it, okay? Here. Welcome, my daughter. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome, my daughter. How are you, Mama? Albert. Thank you, Albert. Albert. Yeah, welcome, Albert. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Welcome, my son. Thank you, Ma. Um, Maziki. Um, when I came for the introduction and payment of Angel's salary, did I strike you as irresponsible? No. Did I show it to you that I was bent on exploiting your daughter? No. Marzi, your daughter here has disgraced me. Your daughter has disappointed me and my entire family. Angel is fake. The gold has suddenly turned to brass. Oh, oh just, just shut up and let me finish, okay? You think I'm a fool? You think I'm a fool? Mazi, your daughter told me that she would not allow me to sleep with her until we get married. I agree totally. In other words, we have never slept in the same room, not to talk of the same bed. We have never slept in the same room. Never. Albert, just shut up and let me finish. You think I would allow you to kill yourself in my house? You think I'm that much of a fool? Mazi, do you know that while I was planning B for your daughter here, my fiancé, Still keeping to her demands. She was busy having an affair behind my back. Banu, Banu, my daughter cannot do that. Mama, Angel here is eight weeks pregnant. Woo! Angela! But that is not in our blood, Angela. From where did you learn that? Angela! Eh? Angela, did you do that? Papa, it is true, but I don't know where the pregnancy came from. If it's not the one that impregnated me, then, then who did? Oh, you are asking me, not only did you commit an abominable act, but you are telling a lie. And they want me to believe that you don't know the man who is responsible for the pregnancy. You are an idiot. Hey. Uh, Mazi, I took the pains of bringing back your daughter to you in one piece. 
from now on i will not be responsible for her whereabouts i am forfeiting all i spent on her her dowry inclusive but what i will not bear is to see angel anywhere near my house warn her warn her What will I tell my fellow women? What of my church members say? Hey! hey. I'm ashamed of you, Angela. Angela. <laughs> How do you think the man will keep a pregnancy that is not his? <laughs> huh? Papa, enough. Enough, Mama, enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> I am not a fool. What will I gain by hiding the man who is responsible for my pregnancy? What will I gain? Angela, I get into the house. I will take care of you. Stop that. That's how you spot her. Let her go. And mind you, I don't want any bastard into the house. Angela, I said get into the house. Where do you think you are going to? I'm a working class grandma, and I can take care of myself and this baby. Without Albert, I can do that. But one thing is for sure, Albert will give account of this pregnancy. And I'm very sorry. I never meant to bring Shimo upon you. You try to defend yourself, but no one believes you. What do you do? Cause you feel so confused oh. Just shall be vindicated And the innocent shall be protected It might take some time to... Listen, Ross, if you had brought that girl in here, I would have killed her myself You better start shouting me your name because I am here now What do you want here? I warned you, didn't I? What do you want? Albert, what do I want? Albert, I have only slept in this house, so there is no way I would get pregnant from elsewhere. I have only slept here. So you think you can go out there, get bloated up and expect me to nurse another man's pregnancy? It is not another man's pregnancy. And I demand the protection of this pregnancy until it is proven otherwise. I am going nowhere. Hey, 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 hey. Enough, enough, enough of all these jokes. Enough, enough. Listen here. Yeah. My brother here needs a decent and nice girl and not some unrepentant lion slot, okay? Yes, and you should be doing better in some kind of brothel rather than deceiving an unsuspecting gentleman like my brother. Hey, <laughs> Grace, it's all right. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What's the matter? Stop it. It's okay, just get down. Oh, the Chris! Just get down. Girl, 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 it's alright. Get out of here. Let's let this girl talk. Let this girl go. Uh, girl, bounce. Go, 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 go. Alright. Let her go. Just calm down. Just calm down. Oh, She's wasting too much time. Let her go. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. As you get out, you're no, wasting too much time. Go, go, go. What kind of slow motion movement is this one now?
Tina. Come on. And what you can they do for her? So they call you since no answer. I they clean house. I no send you that one. I beg. Come see market where you go sell for me. I beg. I no want no nonsense. I no just want nonsense. Carry this market go sell. And if you no sell and finish, no bother to come back to this house. I go try. You go waiting. You go try. That one no concern me. If you like, go expressway. Carry mat. Go lie down there. No sleep. You just sleep. Make no sense. But my own be say you no go come back here with this market. Auntie, I say I go try, but my find something chop first. Come here! Find what in chop. Eh? So that means if I don't get this house, you go enter my kitchen, collect food, chop, before you go sell my kite for me. Auntie, I never chop since morning. Come and shut up your mouth. How this house take resemble that rich man house where you live? Where are they chop, chop the fry, fry before I go work for money? Eh? Come on, carry this thing, go sell for me. Yes, yes. I never shout. I think I'm licensed to chop for person house. If you they work out like crazy, no throw my cap for me, oh. I don't tell you finish. If you not sell and finish, no come back to this house. Caro, what has this girl done to you? Why do you hate her so much? Why do I hate her? Why do I hate who? Peter, I think God beg you. Let me manage this house as the wife where I be. You do hear me now? As long as you know arrange with me, go bring your sister Conley for this house. You go let her. Make she do everything what I tell her. Make she do for this house for me. You do hear me? If you want peace, oh, I don't to tell you now. Ah. Which one? Which can one of this?
What happened? I bought banana from her. The money I paid her fell under the car. While she tried to bring out the money, I moved the car and the tires climbed her leg. Where my banana? Where my banana money? What kind of woman are you? So your banana money is, is more important than her life. This is heartless of you. I'll face your front. This I said give so my heartless. money. Huh. Caro. Carry your feet to the side. Why are you so impossible? Impowating. Impowating, now they ask you. Professor of grammar. Oh, and I speak another one, I will clap for you. Okay, sir. I think this will help finish her treatment and to make up for the days that she will not sell. I'm very sorry, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I came to apologize for Henry's physical attack on you. I want you to forgive us, Henry, but for any man who had done the same or worse. I want to pay for your treatment. You want to pay for my treatment? Yes. I see. Are you going to pay for my lost baby too? Are you, Albert? Albert, we are talking about murder here and you want to pay for my hospital bills. Tell me, did that child not deserve to leave? I don't know who owns that child, but that child certainly did not deserve to be aborted and definitely not in the hands of a beast like Harry. And then you walk up to me and have the F1 to tell me you want to pay for my hospital bills. Tell me, if I allowed you to pay for my hospital bills right now, but what will happen to me? I'm asking you, what will happen to me after this moment? Well, um, I just want to make sure you're well first. You know, I did not expect that you were going to say anything more intelligent. Albert, get out. Look, Angel. Albert, get out. Just get out! I said get out of my sight right now! Calm down, calm down. Get, get down, down. down. Please, 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 please. Now answer before you, Albert. Simply because you are rich, you will think you can destroy my daughter and get away with it. This has got nothing to do with riches. I warned Angel before you to stay away from me forever, but no. She barged into my house with stupid accusations. Yeah, and that is enough to kill her baby and almost kill her. Kill me, Albert. Kill me. Ah, kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Touch me. Who is your mama? How could I be your mama? Oh, a mother of a beast like you? I understand you are Mike Tyson. Finish your job. Don't kill me. What? What? Kill me. What? Kill me. 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 Kill
Let me remind both of you that this is my house. Now I want both of you to leave my house before I call the police. I don't want to have anything to do with, with parents of a liar and a harlot. Eh? Hey, Albert, you call my daughter a harlot? You, you that were on your knees before me, asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. You even had the guts to order us out of your house. Why my daughter is critically ill. All right, okay. We shall see. Julie, back Aina. Back Aina, Apple. We shall see. Pay for the services. Oh. The wedding has been called off. I don't want any more unfavorable attention. Angel, but you have just lost the baby. Look, we should thank God your body is still intact. Forget the past and face the future. It's not the end of the world after all. Alison, what cannot express how grateful I am for all that you have done for me? I am eternally grateful to you. It's okay, alright? Thank you very much. I want you to be happy again. In case you don't want to stay with Uju to avoid bumping into Henry, you can come stay with me. Okay. The house is big enough. It can accommodate the two of us. It will never come to that. I mean, would you understand perfectly what I'm going to? She's my best friend, so I'm sure she will never jeopardize my feelings. It's okay. It's okay, all right. But you can call me up anytime you need my help. Anytime. All right. <laughs> disappointed in me. But believe me, I am even more disappointed in myself. If anything would cross your mind, would you at least let it be that probably I am innocent? Because believe me, would you, I don't know how I got pregnant. Believe me. And you want me to believe that, right? Innocent or not, the deed has been done. The wedding has been called off. The entire dream battered. It's back to square one, naive. Oh my god. 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 Tell this man to leave this house right now. Tell him to leave this house right now. I want him to leave this house right now. Angel, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I mean, do you realize that Henry is my boyfriend? Oh, you want to destroy my relationship the way you destroyed yours, right? Besides, you forget that this is my house and not yours. You're a squatter and you remain that as long as you're in this house. I hope I made myself clear. Yes. Would you? Has it come to this? Ah, Yes. 
I can't take you seriously anymore because you're always joking. No, believe you me, you can't get there. No, no, I need to say, I'm so. I am leaving your house, Ojo. But I didn't ask you to leave. You no, know you didn't. Yes. But you implied it. Ojo, I don't want to be under the same roof with you and this killer. I don't want to destroy your relationship like I have destroyed mine. Thank you very much for everything, Ojo. But I know that in due season, my God will vindicate me. Thank you very much. Babe, sit down. Angel, you don't have anywhere to Darling, go, and I know sit it. sit down, sit down. Please, sit. In fact, come here. Come here. Come. She called your man a killer. Do you understand that? Yeah, but... Look, forget about that. Now to the cause of the matter, okay? So, I said we can make it. You and me. Yeah. Dr. Rex, from all you've told me, this defies medical interpretation. It's obvious that a woman cannot get pregnant without having sexual intercourse with a man. But Angel could have done better. <sighs> Dr. Rex, what baffles me is that innocent denial. She wasn't faking it, she meant it. And you know, Angel is a very natural woman. I doubt if anyone could be that stubborn. She even slapped Henry for calling her names. That caused the beating. Angelica must be a puzzle. I suspected if I'll blow her. Dr. Vex, I don't know what to think. The way it is now, my mind is split 50 50. I don't know, but something tells me that there is more to this thing than meets the ordinary eye. Imagine my disappointment after investing so heavily on Angelica emotionally. It's, it's like I'm under a spell. I'm, I'm neither here nor there. I'm just confused. Albert, I advise you take your minds off all this. The consequences of hypertension and stroke are dead, scary. You get busy with work and spend more time with friends. That's my advice. Well, it's all right, Dr. Rex. I'll, I'll try and do that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I'll call you. Henry, I am really, really impressed. Really. Your attitude to work is quite commendable. Your department has flourished on you. I, I always say you had it in. All you needed to do was to sit and be focused. <laughs> you were just being the juvenile delinquent. <laughs> anyway, um, that's beside the point. Henry, I am aware of your strong and intimate relationship with Uju. For me, I have not yet made up my mind to get involved with another woman. It's a personal decision. But I would not want this to stand in your way of, or rather, it would be most unfair of me to keep you waiting unnecessary. What I am trying to say is, um, we, we are brothers. You have my permission to go ahead and marry you. I will sponsor the wedding, every arrangement, from the least to the most. In fact, even your Okay. Choose any country you want for your honeymoon. I'll pay the expenses, okay?
please talk to me. What is the matter? What, what is wrong with you? Talk to me. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable now. Talk to me. What is it now? Just guess. Guess. I can't guess. I can't. No, no, no. Go ahead, guess. You have to guess this one now. Just go ahead and guess. Sweetheart, I cannot guess. Okay, please talk to me. What is it? What? Why are you doing this to me now? Why? Talk to me now. Why? What is it? Can you just imagine? Imagine that. Imagine that. You would die. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you would die. Yeah. Yes, yes. Can you imagine you. you uh, yes, I'm going to die. You would die. You, yes, you, yes. Can you just imagine you and I getting married? You know, like, married. Are you, are you, are you serious? Married? Yeah, man. You got food, you got food there, right? Oh, you got to Why? Why? Come on, man. Why? You know I don't have to lose the same way other men do. You know that, don't you? Are you serious? I am serious. Oh, darling. I love you. Yeah, you can start making plans from plan A to plan infinity. You should understand. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to send an invitation card to uh, AJ. It's alright. It's okay. I mean, you can send her an invitation card. It's okay. Hey. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, you know, with all due respect, yes, she's a good girl, but um, she was only deceitful. It's okay, it's like, oh, God, it's okay. Of oh course, I God. am serious. Thank you so much, Thank you so much, Doug. Yeah. I'm so ready for the wedding. Okay. Um, what's um, Bandstand. 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 So, which is hot right now? You know what, let's start with color. All right, um, see the receptionist and come back and check uh, in the next two days, okay? Thank you. All right. Hello, send in the next stop again and make it fast, okay? Auntie! Hey, Gina! Auntie, good morning! Good morning. Gina, you talk say you did go village, say you will come back. Why you not come back? Auntie, I know if you come back to the house again. Gina, why you no go fit come back home the house? You talk say you go village, say if nothing happens to your mama, you go come back. And you don't do this now, you they walk up and down, they find work. Why you no come back home house so you no say you go get work? Eh? Gina? Auntie, now long story. Now very long story, Auntie. Hey, Auntie, what of Brabant? But how about you? Yes, but how about you? Okay. And uh, Gina, me and your brother, how about we not we not be together again? Hey, I'm brother, but my nice man. Mm. Mm. Um, Gina, I still won't know why you know won't come back home house. Cause I don't understand what you want. Eh? And you call the work up and now they apply for a work of cleaner. When you lose it, if you come out, they will still employ you back. Why, Gina? How you behave like that? Auntie, now that devil. Which devil? Brother Henry. What's in Brother Henry do you? Auntie. You remember that day where you, where you fall confident?
happen? Mama, just for break her head. Now, I say, Uncle Fatima. Yes, I'm going to the guy that I'm going to do. Mama, just keep going. Just keep going. This one will go no day. Mama, Mama, Mama. As I come back, Auntie, what in my eyes see? I don't believe her. Cause me and your uncle about we take separate than that. Hey, Who be that? My former madam, Auntie Angel. Mm. She say she and Brother Albert no marry again. 
and that on my don't to so far kind upon all the things we didn't do. Okay, eh? you know, I never tell you to make me come up for that house. Yes. Okay. One day I did kitchen. Now I just say, Madam, shout. Now my rock come up for kitchen. Go and Madam, they see Madam for ground. Ah. And my organ no day. No leave me and bother her every day. But then he comes in my go find moto. Now my suki, I go run go find moto. As I go, now my see gets man. You see, I see him be man. Me be woman. Same go fast past me. Now my see okay. I can say my room go back house. As I reach house. See, but then he, on top, madam. Ah. In fact, eh, what in my eyes see? My mouth no fit talker. I call they try, 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 try to tell my oga, oga a bat. But then he just they tell me, say, if I try, I say, go kill me. Even get one day, carry my foot for my neck, uncle. Uh. Say, go kill me if I talk anything. Ha. Ah. What did I go do? Even the money where you come this house. Now, but then he, just give me the money. Say, if I don't want me to carry my dead body, my go back to my village. You. Now, make me come out to a new one, one, one. Now I meet myself here, so... Ah! One that shall never end. Oh. That boy needs deliverance. Serious deliverance! So... Now what you go, go, you go come do now? Yeah, my mother be say... Make I fall and go house back. She be good woman, but... Wait till my eyes see that time. But I mean, I don't fit to... I tell her, I don't go fit come. I know of it, Uncle. Well, if I saw you one time, uh, may God bless you, help you. Amio. And the innocent shall be protected. I really thought you were too ashamed to admit your faithfulness. <laughs> you are justified in your thinking, Alison. I mean, I never give you any reasonable explanation, right? Hmm. I can understand why you thought so. Henry, I've always known that that guy was slimy, but I never thought in my wildest dreams that he could go to this extent. Alison, I just hope this guy has not infected me. I need a comprehensive test, don't I? I think you do, my dear. I think you do. So what are you going to do now? You know, the wedding is next week. But come to think of it, how could Uju do a thing like this? How could she choose Henry over you, her best friend? How could she do a thing like that? Such is life. Uju, how could she? How could she let me out of the house, not knowing where I would lay my head next? Honestly, I'm surprised. I must tell you. How could? Would you choose Henry over me, knowing fully well that he hurt my feelings? How could would you choose Henry, knowing fully well that he caused me to lose my pregnancy? How? Hmm. Alison, um, very horrible. Sorry, Reverend. We'll, we'll be in church very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Henry! Henry! Be quick! We're already late. The Reverend just phoned. Awesome. Come in. Come in. Hey. You look good. Thank you. That's my kid, brother. <laughs> My name is Inspector Joshua from the state CID. You're under arrest for rape and assault on Miss Angelica. Angel, is this some kind of sick joke or what? It is not some kind of sick joke, Albert. Henry raped me. The day I fell and hit my head and fainted, 
he raped me and that was the source of the pregnancy. Or are you trying to deny that? Well, well, what's the meaning of this? Can you prove this? If I can prove this, yes, I can prove this. Gina! Gina! Come. Hold your breath. In case you're trying to intimidate her, she recorded it, okay? Yeah. recorded it okay she recorded it on her phone it's on hard copy it was recorded are you trying to tell me that Henry to you you <laughs> oh. you really still think I'm lying you can let us go to the police station right now and I'll prove it to you I said it was recorded are you listening to me it was recorded it's on the phone on the girl's phone the police saw it do you think the police would want to arrest him if they did not have any evidence? Would you? He was responsible for that pregnancy. Yes, he was. And everything was recorded. It's on hard copy. Would you look? I tried to reach you. I tried calling you, but you weren't picking up your phones. And you know I wouldn't have come to the house because I didn't want to run into that guy. Because of him. I mean, that guy is a beast, would you? I deliberately disrupted my wedding because I did not want you to be married to that guy for even one second. But you think about it. The minute you say I do, you're married. And even if you want to get away from him, then you, you have to divorce him and then you you dead once married. I know it seems like I was being vindictive, But I know that in years to come, you'll be thankful for what I did. Imagine you getting married to that idiot for one hour, just one hour. 
you will have buried his name. He does not deserve you, Richie. He does not. You got carried away and all that, but he was just not worth it. It's okay. I'm sorry too. It's okay. But then suddenly Sorry. The money where Brassi may give me the two hundred for waiting. And so is I go find work. <laughs> you won't go find work. Eh, hey, no problem. Go ask your uncle for me. Say, she ain't give me money. He ain't give me any money to keep for her. Ask him. Auntie, I beg now. Who should be your own now? Who should be a beg, I beg, I beg? Eh? Happy kiss, you can't about idiot. The fine. At a fine job. I see that paper. You go to school? Yes. You pass where where? Yes. Uh, I can say you go see my organ now. Thank you. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Gina. A grown-up like you cannot speak good English. How can I communicate with you in the presence of my guest? You are not sharp at all. Totally inexperienced. Take, you can go. I said you can go. I don't feel go anywhere. I don't feel go anywhere. How inexperienced person figure experience if nobody go teach him? I don't think we're any way of that. Are you challenging me? No, no. I'm going to beg. I know the challenge. I just go beg your girl. I don't think go back to the house again. I don't go through too many while I for my empty hand. I don't even see her face again, I'm going to go beg you. Just try me, young girl. I promise you, I'm gonna learn fast. <laughs> I'm not even ready. Any amount you pay me, I go to him. Any amount I beg, I beg, young girl. Make I just sleep here, young girl. You just go beg, you I beg. <laughs> I beg. It's okay, Miss Gina. I'm just pulling your legs. I'm just testing your fighting spirit. The job is yours. Eh? You can start whenever you wish. Oh God, thank it's you. Oh God, thank you, so God, thank you. Oh God, bless you, bless you, bless you. Ah, thank you, so God, thank you. Okay, stand up. Ah, thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, uh, the job is yours. Thank you, sir. You can start anytime you wish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, you have a very good result. Would you still like to go to school? Yes, 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 Oga. Um, 
I'll be one continue, but no money. I will pay you 15000 every month. Hey. Uh, that is besides your feeding and accommodation. And I guess that will take care of your private lesson that will prepare you for your job. Oga, thank you. Is that okay? Oga, go, go bless you. Go, go bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Oga, thank you. Um, Stevie will open the boys' order for you. Hmm? Inside town, and I go start tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Ah, God, I thank you. Thank God. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Thank God. Oh. Ha! Hey, walk. Thank God. Oh. Sure. So now, which one come because bring this kind of jarish? Eh? Where you are the jarish like the moon come from heaven, fall down for this place. You get work. Not your ordinary house get work. You get. She na bank have been a company. I know we'll hear what's on. See, since you don't decide to leave this banana where you decide for me, come go get on your work. Make you ready, say, that salad where they're going to pay you, you're going to bring her on this house. Now you go to the chop. Caro, Organ, what is your problem? I don't get a problem. I don't get it. Every time I'm going to seek the secret, they do meeting for me. No, you don't, you don't mind that. Ah. Congratulations. Nothing wrong. On the contrary, I was enjoying your song and dance. I like the way you approach your job with so much passion. Thank you, sir. And I wish you can put in such effort in your studies. I'm gonna try my best, sir. Keep it up while I wait for a job result. Hmm? Yes, sir. I don't want any stories. Yes, sir. Meanwhile, hurry up and uh, prepare my meal for me. Yes, sir. A mystery 
is hard to understand. But, that, but I made it. I made it my damn result. Especially if it involves you. 275? Yes, brother. Beautiful. You've Beautiful. To leave right. You're here for love. Yes, brother. And all this time. Congratulations, Gina. Thank you very much, brother. You made it. But then suddenly I'm proud of you. something happened. You try to defend yourself, but no one believes you. What do you do? Cause you feel so confused. Oh, Just shall be vindicated, and the innocent shall be protected. Get your filthy fingers off that car. Take out, get away. What do you think you're doing? Look, you remain disowned. I don't want to have anything to do with you again, okay? I managed to bail you because I don't want your scandal trailing my hard head reputation or my name. So get out of this place. Abros, uh, please. Bros, who is your brother? You forgot you had a brother when you took advantage of my fiance, humiliated her while you pretended to be innocent. To the best of my knowledge, I don't have a brother. I can't have a brother who is a rapist, a liar, and a cheat. And if you cherish your life, I don't want to see you near any of my property, be it the, the house or the factories. Because if you do, I will personally kill and bury you and nothing, nothing will happen, okay? Nothing. Get, 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 get out of my But then suddenly, something happens that casts serious doubts on your person you try to defend yourself but no one believes you what do you do cause you feel so confused oh. just shall be vindicated and the innocent shall be protected it might take some I know that you're very disappointed in me. But believe me, I am even more disappointed in myself. If anything would cross your mind, would you at least let it be that probably I am innocent? Because believe me, would you, I don't know how I got pregnant. Believe me. And you want me to believe that, right? Innocent or not, the deed has been done. The wedding has been called off. The entire dream battered. It's back to square one, naive. Oh my god. What's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? What's What's this? 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 Tell this man to leave this house right now. Tell him to leave this house right now. I want him to leave this house right now. Angel, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I mean, do you realize that Henry is my boyfriend? Oh, you want to destroy my relationship the way you destroyed yours, right? Would Besides, you? you forget that this is my house and not yours. You're a squatter and you remain that as long as you're in this house. I hope I made myself clear. Yes. Would you? Has he come to this? Ah,
I, I, I can't take it seriously anymore because you're always joking. No, believe you me, we can't get there. No, no, man. You see, I'm so. You can't get that. Angel. I mean, where are you going to? I am leaving your house, Ojo. But I didn't ask you to leave. No, you didn't. Yes. But you implied it. Ojo. I don't want to be under the same roof with you and this killer. I don't want to destroy your relationship like I have destroyed mine. Thank you very much for everything, Uju. But I know that in due season, my God will vindicate me. Thank you very much. Babe, sit down. Angel, you don't have anywhere to Darling, go. Darling, just I know sit it. down. Sit down. Please, sit. In fact, come here. Come here. Come. She called your man a killer. Do you understand that? Yeah, but... Look, forget about that. Now to the cross of the matter. Okay? So, I said we can make it. You and me. For real. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Sorry for all the grief I've caused you. I'm sorry, truly. Apology accepted. You can now leave. Darling, please, I beg you for the sake of love. I beg you, please. You're my only hope right now. I'm, I'm homeless. My, my, my brother has disowned Henry. me. Henry, you sure do have gods. You almost led me into a shameful marriage. And you still have the infantry to ask me for shelter. Do you realize the shame you've cost me? Do you realize what I've gone through? Henry, you raped an unconscious girl. I'm sure you can make love to a dead woman. Henry, you are a beast. You are the devil himself. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. No matter how long it takes, it's a big mistake to offend The innocent and the righteous Don't worry cause The just shall be vindicated, shall be vindicated. And the innocent shall be protected Be protected It might take some time It might take some time But in time But in time The truth Shall set you shall free. set you free and you'll be free indeed. Oh, you'll be free indeed. You'll be free indeed. Shed, you'll be free indeed. Cause, cause, cause the judge, the judge shall be vindicated. Shall be vindicated. And the yeah. innocent shall be shall be protected it might take yeah, some time it might take some time but in time but in time the truth shall set you free and you'll be free and you'll be free indeed you'll be free indeed you'll be free Shall be protected. Shall be protected.
She's deliberately not taking her course. But in time, but in time, the truth shall set you free. And you'll be free indeed. You'll surely be free indeed. You'll be free indeed. You'll be free indeed. You'll be free indeed. Shall be vindicated. Alison, I am truly sorry. I really am. I'm only human. And I did what I thought was honorable in the circumstance. Please just, just help me talk to her. She's your friend. She listens to you. Albert, I feel your sentiments. And I understand the pressure on you at that time. I've spoken to her. But she would not entertain any kind of intrusion. She is very, very bitter. We're even lucky she was not infested by that beast you call a brother. Albert, I advise you let her vent her anger. For now, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. Alison, she is your friend. You know her very well. Won't you at least try to talk to her again? What do you want from her anyway? Eh? Do you think Angel will ever be emotionally settled as long as she sees Henry, your brother? Please, Albert, I have patience to attend to. If you don't mind. Thank you for at least listening to me. the matter? Why the urgency in your call? Is it Henry again? It's Angel. I thought you called a quit. Yes, I did, and you know why. But Auntie, Angel is innocent after all. You put her in a family way and kicked her out? I didn't. Henry did. Henry did what? Henry took advantage of her the day she fell down and fainted. He had sex with Angel in her unconscious state. Holy Virgin Mary. And how did you find out? Look, Auntie, that's a long story. What matters to me now is to get Angel back. Albert, you offended me. I warned you against kicking her out after you told me what happened. But you did your wish. Auntie, there was no other thing I could have done in the circumstance. Anyway, if you want her back, go to her or to her wounded parents. Auntie, I have done all that without success. Something tells me that you are the only one who would help me clean up this mess. She listens to you. so reckless. The innocent girl must have suffered. I abandoned her thinking that she was guilty as judged. Have to talk to her. Auntie, thank you very much. Thank you. I knew you would do it for me. Thank you. Thank you. And what about that idiot, Henry? I don't want to talk about him. I guess it, I don't know. Maybe he's loitering around the street somewhere. I, I don't want to talk about him. Auntie, I have disowned him outrightly. And, and no, Auntie, listen to me. And I will personally kill him if he ventures into my compound or any of my other property. Albert, you couldn't have done anything like that without telling me. No matter how you see it, he is still your blood brother. And disowning him will not solve the problem for God's sake.
However, first and first. never forgave me for defending you. Please, my dear, forgive him. Please. And he'll have no problems with anybody. Actually, I have forgiven everybody. Really, I just want to move on with my life now. I am okay. Angel, you are not okay. Albert wants you back. Please. Albert wants me back. Yes. Auntie, do you know the humiliation and embarrassment I went through in the hands of those two? Albert and Henry. Auntie, do you... Auntie, I respect you a lot. You know what? I cannot go back to Albert. No, I will not go back to Albert. Angel, Albert called me to this. Believing I'm the only person that will break the barrier. Angel, remember, if he stayed in the hospital, Abbott is in a kind of hopeless dilemma. He's going down each day just because of you, for the love he has for you. Please, my dear, forgive him. He loves you. Prove me wrong, Angel. Please. He wants you back. Abbott has come back to his senses. He wants you. He needs you. He cares for you. Please, my dear. At least for my sake. Hard to understand, especially if it involves you. When all this while you've been trying to live right, and all this time, let's get rid of it. Look at yourself. See what you did to yourself with all the riches around you. You dashed the trust and betrayed your only brother. The only person that meant everything to you, Harry. We are all your friends. The ones you drink and club with. They shouldn't have allowed you to be homeless. You wanted a harsh experience. And now you have learned. And I hope you are finding it interesting. Swine. Anum pam. Auntie, I said I'm sorry now. Auntie, 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 Out auntie, of my auntie, way! Will you shut up? Shut up! You are lucky to be alive. Eh? Imagine the dastardly act against an innocent girl. Your white loss, Albert, has been warning you against. Now, go to Angel and apologize to her. Please, for her mercy. Henry, you killed her child. Your own child. Just pray that God will not demand for a replacement when you get married. Knowing that you are the cause of your childlessness. Uh, 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 Auntie, you don't have to curse me too now. I, I, I said I, 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 I'm sorry. I'll apologize to Angel, but I know she won't... Go and apologize to Angel. And don't come back here to tell me stories. Out of my way. 
Cause the wicked cannot go unpunished When you offend the innocent or the righteous Oh, it cannot go unpunished No matter how long it takes It's a big mistake to offend the innocent and the righteous Don't worry cause The just shall be vindicated Shall be vindicated And the innocent shall be protected Be protected It might take some time It might take some time Forgiven Henry. In fact, I have forgiven your entire family. But I, but I beg you, I beg you in God's name, please let sleeping dogs lie. Ah, oh, but please let me move on with my life. Please. You want to move on with your life? I don't have a life without you. My life is ended without you. Drive a knife through me and let's end it all. Because my heart cannot withstand another loss. Albert, you have already lost me. You pushed me away, Albert. You have already lost me. No, Benja. I lost my former wife through no fault of mine. But for you, Whatever it takes, I'll do anything to right all my wrongs. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry.
so easy. What's the matter, Gina? Thank you very much. This is a dream come true. You made me, Eric. You and you alone. Gina, God used me to achieve your dream. But who am I? Who am I to deserve this? Any other person could have done it. Presumptuous Eric. <laughs> no one would have done it if not you. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, barrister. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, I chose to see you first, before any other person. Thank you. And I promise I'll always check on you from time to time. Thank you. Any time, any day. Thank you. Now I'm a lawyer. And it's time to move into the world for greener pastures. <sighs> but before I go, is there anything I can do for you? Maybe wash your clothes? Tidy up the environment, anything whatsoever. Yes. There is one thing I would wish you'd do for me. Anything. Marry me. What did you just say? Be my wife. That is why I invested in you. You mean you prepared me for a day like this? Come on, Eric, that was too risky. 
Supposing I had met someone else before you proposed. Then you are not made for me. I have every cause to marry you, Erica. You are my hero. Yes, I will. Oh, thank you. Bit of the ear of a customer? Yes, Gina. And the woman in question is connected to a very rich young man who felt that Carol must pay for her act. Meanwhile, as I speak to you now, this case has been delayed for six months. What? And she has been suffering on a cell. That's serious. As it is, judgment will be passed next week. I have tried my Best, but this man said that Carol must go to jail. There's an opportunity for you to get married again. So why they'll give you kids? What? Um, meanwhile, who is this man that's related to the victim? I think I wrote his name somewhere. L let me look for it. Okay. Eric Johnson? Uncle, this is the man. Which man? The man that helped me. The man I worked for. Uncle, I even came to give you the good news. He proposed to marry me and I said Really? Yes, Uncle. What a small word. Am I? As it stands now, you are the only one to serve Carol. God forbid, Uncle. I don't want to get involved in the Carol's case. She's a devil, and the almighty God is paying her back in her own coins. She needs to suffer. She deserves to be punished. No, 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 Gina. You need to see Carol now. She has torn an image of herself. She has even torn born again in cell. Please have mercy. Please, just for my sake. No matter how long it takes, it's a big mistake to offend The innocent and the righteous Don't worry, cause The just shall be Perhaps you had your reasons for your attitude towards me. But I want you to know it. 
that in everything we do in life, God will be Mr. Eric, the man after the kiss, happens to be my husband. Hmm? And he has assured me that he has forgiven me as well. But yes, sir, I have forgiven you. Uh, and it's all thanks to you. Thank you very much, my Lord. God will bless you. Thank you. This time you've been upright, but then suddenly something happened. No one believes you. What do you do? Cause you feel so confused.